Well, everybody, I have some really, really awesome news to share with you guys. Apparently, it looks like that some of the old Infinity Ward team members are actually going to be coming back to Infinity Ward from Respawn Entertainment, the guys that made Titanfall, and they are going to be working together to make, drumroll please, Modern Warfare 4. And who really wasn't expecting that one? That actually is something that I was expecting right from the get-go after Infinite Warfare. I personally did not like Infinite Warfare, you guys already know this. I also really didn't care a lot for Ghosts. It's a lot better looking back on Ghosts, but I still really do not like Infinite Warfare at all. I don't even know if I'll even ever like Infinite Warfare. But for Call of Duty in terms of Infinity Wars games, ever since Modern Warfare 3, ever since like the Modern Warfare series to begin with, after, like, Modern Warfare 3 ended, like, Infinity War has struggled really, really hard to try to get a new series going. And the thing is with Infinity Ward, right, is that they are the OGs. They are, the, they're like the grandfather of Call of Duty. They started up Call of Duty, they made the idea for Call of Duty, they got Call of Duty to even become a thing. And the thing is that since old Infinity Ward now is part of Respawn, or, you know, most of them are still at Respawn, a lot of the new members at Infinity War just can't for some reason get the formula down for a like a Call of Duty game. The only Call of Duty game that they really were able to do was Modern Warfare 3, and that's because I'm pretty sure most of the storyline was already developed, and they had help from Sledgehammer. And I will give them credit, most of the work was probably done by the new Infinity War and Sledgehammer, two of like the least you know, desired, you know, game companies in terms of Call of Duty, which I still think is kind of a funny fact is that a lot of people don't realize it, but Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward, two of the most hated Call of Duty developing teams, made the best Call of Duty game in terms of sales ever of all times, which was Modern Warfare 3. And the thing is that after Modern Warfare 3, Ghost and Infinite Warfare just didn't work, and it just for, it's just a sad to see that because, like, I really do feel bad for the uh, current Infinity Ward team because I'm worried that either number one, Activision will probably let them go and maybe might replace them with Raven, or that Infinity War is just going to end up being too stressed out or just getting blind hate from the community. And that's the one thing I hate about gaming is that when people just crap on a game right from the get-go, and that's why I'm trying my best to not you know, hate on Infinity Ward, even though I really didn't particularly like their last game. But from the sounds of it, it seems like that they are trying to listen to the community but I hope that I'm right about that and that they're actually listening to the community and that it's not a desperation attempt, like that they're only making Modern Warfare 4 is because they just can't think of anything else and they're desperate to try to stay employed. I really hope that's not the case. I actually hope they genuinely try to make Modern Warfare a good game. With all the old uh, Infinity Ward crew from, you know, the back of the day being back, not all of them, but most of them, or some of them, whatever. Uh, the fact that some of them are coming back is very, very nice to hear. Hopefully that will end up affecting the game in a positive light. Hopefully they can actually make another decent Modern Warfare game. Because the way that Modern Warfare 3 ended, you actually did have a storyline there. I don't know if they're going to do the same thing with Black Ops 4, uh, you know, Blackout 2 Modern Warfare 4. If they're going to add another Bowery Hour, they're just going to keep updating the one on Black Ops 4. But the story, the multiplayer, everything about the Modern Warfare series, I really did genuinely enjoy. And to see that be brought back again, hopefully, that would be really, really nice. I just hope that they don't do a watered-down version. If you're gonna do a Modern Warfare 4, you have to make it an actual Modern Warfare 4. You gotta bring back the most insane, ludicrous type of score streaks that will end up striking the fear into peepers, pe peepers, <laughs> people's souls that where you hear AC-130 above and that just gives them like this really, really, really awesome adrenaline rush. They're starting to panic. They're, they don't know what to do. There's chaos going on. There's people screaming. There's body parts flying all around the place. I'm probably going to get demonetized. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know, just guys screaming, running around, shooting, lighting people up. Pure chaos. I don't even care if you necessarily add in some of the the bull crap like commando or, or the the intervention quick scoping loopholes or the fact that you end up adding in you know a danger close one-man army noob tubes as long as whatever you make is fun that's really all I care about at the end of the day I mean I really hope you don't add in any of those things because those were all busted <laughs> but I would really love to see just the game be fun like modern warfare 2 was so broken that it really really was a really bad game in terms of a, you know, like a game sense but it still was fun and so on the fun sense it was actually a really good game and it shows to show you that even a busted game can be fun and that's why I'm mostly wanting out of this is that I want the game to actually be fun even if it's not necessarily actually a, like a fixed game if it's busted 
I don't care as long as I actually have fun with it. As long as the community enjoys it and we have fun with it again like any other old Call of Duty game, that'll be fun. I know that there will probably be supply drops, and I know that there will probably be, you know, no leaderboards right at the beginning, just all the other the standard crap that's been with Call of Duty games lately. As long as the game is fun though, that'll be okay with me. Adding good kill streaks, adding good maps, adding good hit detection, adding good connections, adding good, you know, adding good uh, scoreboards and leaderboards and, and basic things that should just be in the game from the get-go and have a decent supply drop system because we all know that's going to be in the game. Just just please do these things and that way you'll end up having a good game in Infinity War. Just please. If you can, please add these games, you know, mechanics. It's just It would just work, please. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, that's basically all I wanted to talk about, guys. I hope you ended up enjoying hearing the fact that there's probably going to very likely be a Modern Warfare 4 coming out in 2019. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed. If you guys liked today's video, I really appreciate it if you could drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I'll see you all later. Peace.